There's one thing I constantly see copywriters talk about is, is copywriting too saturated? Aren't there too many copywriters out there? Should I just find something else? Should I just go back to college? Should I just listen to my parents? These are, these are all stuff that people hear. This is stuff I used to think back in 2022 when I first started. And now that's 2024, nothing has changed. It's the same thing. People have the same limiting beliefs. They say have the same objections. They have the same thing. Nothing has changed. And the truth is, it's the same saturated. Like, the, nothing has changed. Just like I said, nothing has changed. Ever since Andrew Tate got in the game, the game has changed. Like, how many copywriters out there are out there in the real world? Like, 20,000, whatever. So the point I'm trying to make is, is copywriting saturated in 2024? And will it be saturated in 2025? And the truth is, it's going to be saturated. It is saturated. But... It is saturated with low-level copywriters. So what does that mean for you? It means that once you get a little bit better than the rest, you're going to land clients. Once you learn how to differentiate yourself, you're going to land clients. I'm not saying, of course, it's not going to be easy. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I want to make this very fucking clear because I, I, bro, I'm tired of this guru saying you can reach 10K a month in 30 to 90 days. It's not going to happen. Sorry to break it to you, bro. I'm sorry to crash your dreams, but it's not going to happen. You, you won't reach 10K a month in like 30 days, 90 days. It's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. It didn't happen to me two years ago, and it's not going to happen to you now. And that's the truth. I'm not saying this to discourage you. I'm just saying that, I'm just saying that so I can filter out everyone who's not fucking qualified to be a copywriter because I don't want you to waste your time. If you have this shorter mindset and you think you're going to get there in 30 to 90 days, just qu quit already. Quit already. You're not, you're go you're not going to be a beginner and get to that level ASAP. It's just fucking possible. It's like, like picture this. You have this fighter and there are other fighters who've been training for decades. How can you compete with them in two years? In, in even nine? Bro, let's, let's take it back. So you have this fighter. He's been practicing for five years and you have this new fighter who expects he's going to get here. He's going to train for 30 to 90 days and then he's going to beat him. The, the fighter who's training for five years. How can this happen? This cannot happen. The same thing happens with copywriting. The same thing with everything. Like imagine if you were a chef. If you were a chef for five years and you had to do a cooking competition against somebody who was a chef for 30 to 90 days, there would be no competition driving the same. Teaching is the same. Golf is the same. Basketball, football, tennis, like volleyball, everything, bro. Everything in life. Whatever you compare this to. Everything. So what does that mean for you again? It means that if you just get a little bit better, if you just delay your gratification a little bit more, you're going to land clients. Now, of course, it, it's easier said than done. It's not as easy to delay your gratification. And that's why I'm going to give you this one piece of feedback that I constantly tell my students. So what I tell them is don't eliminate, like most people have this misconception that you need to eliminate all of your hobbies. You need to stop going to the gym. You need to stop seeing your friends. You need to stop seeing your girl. You need to stop seeing your family. And you need to stop traveling. You, you need to quit all of this. That's what I think. And so when they do this, they end up lowering and removing all the sources of dopamine they get from their life. And that's actually a bad thing. Now, let, let me tell you this. When it comes to porn, TikTok, and all this crap, remove this from your life. Like, this isn't going to help you. This is a bad source of dopamine. There's a good source of dopamine and there's a bad source of dopamine. Bad source is TikTok, all of this crap. A good source of dopamine is stuff you do in real life. Like, communicating to, with people, relationships, gym, fitness, fighting, hobbies, whatever. All of this is actually a good source of dopamine. It's just like with making money with copywriting, just like with landing clients, just like with making progress in your business. It's the same thing. And what you want to do is you want to remove this stuff so you don't get distracted, so you actually have the motivation to do the work and you actually want to do only those things, these productive dopamine things. Because here's the thing, your brain doesn't really give a fuck if you're, get, if you're getting dopamine from your hobbies or you're getting dopamine from your business. That's a good thing. Because that means you can keep grinding your copywriting business. You can keep not making progress, for example, while you're still making that invincible progress. But your brain is going to think that 
actually making progress. Because you're actually making progress, but in something else. Your brain doesn't really care. It, it, it just wants the dopamine. It doesn't care where it gets it from. As long as it's from a good source. So that's something... Bro, I'm, I'm revealing so many secrets right now. I'm on fucking fire. I'm revealing so many secrets. So if you're if you're finding value from this, make sure to subscribe, like, share, whatever. Make sure to do this. So yeah, this is what I want to share with you. Like this shorter mindset isn't gonna it's not gonna get you anywhere. Like when you think copywriting is too saturated, it's not gonna help you either. It is saturated. You won't get to 10k a month in 30 days. But as long as you stick in the game. Because here's how I view copywriting. I view it as a last man standing game. As long as you don't quit, as long as you stay in the game and you wait till everybody else gets, gets washed away, gets filtered out, just like I did in this video in the beginning where I tried to disqualify you kind of so you can quit watching the video and just qualify those who are actually serious. That's the same thing with getting clients. But instead of me having to filter you out and qualify and disqualify you, the universe does it. So, the universe is testing you, God is testing you. What will you do? Will you remain in the game until you get lucky, until you get a client? Or will you just quit thinking, oh, it didn't happen in 30 to 90 days? So, yeah. This is what I want to share with you. Hope you got some value of this. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. See you in the next one. Love you.